Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the um, Color Me canvases. They're very easy to do. I am going to be using Dollar Tree canvas. They have various sizes. And also I'll be using Silhouette Studio. I'm pretty sure you can use Cricut Design Space, but I don't use Cricut, so I'll be showing you how to do it with um, Silhouette. And depending on the theme that you're doing, you can get any images of your choice and you're going to see how easy this is. So let's get started. All right, the supplies that I'll be using, I'll be using this little mini iron. If you have a heat press, you're more than welcome to use a heat press and you could use your regular home iron. Um, this one you could check down on my description bar. I'm going to put it on my Amazon link, but you could also get it from Joann's and use a coupon. I'm going to be using parchment paper. You can find this. It usually comes with your iron-on paper, but you could also find this on Amazon. It's just parchment paper and even Dollar Tree and stuff like that. I'm going to, you're going to need the size of canvas of your choice. Dollar Tree has a whole bunch. This one is 4x6. This one's 5x7. This one's 6x8. And this one is 8x10. And you're going to need a weeding tool. I got these from Harvard Freight, but you can use an X-Acto knife, a needle, your regular weeding tool. And then I'm going to be using Black HTV. Um, this brand is Sizer Easy Weed brand. All right, so now let's get started thing you need to do is open up your software and i do have silhouette business edition if you have basic or designer you're perfectly fine you can still do it but my screen might look different than yours i think i'm on version 4.4 first thing you have to do is you need to uh, set up your page setup page setup is the icon on your right it looks like a piece of paper you're going to click on it and where it says media size size it to the vinyl that you're going to be using if you're going to be using 8 by 11 or 12 by 12 this is where you change your paper setup okay after that you're going to go to google and then you're going to look up the coloring page of your choice that you would like you can look up unicorn mermaids any anything that whatever theme you are doing that's what you're going to look for so then after that you're going to click on the image that you want after you click on the image you're going to right click you're going to copy you're going to go to silhouette you're going to right click and you're going to paste it now because i could copy and paste because i have business edition if you have designer or basic you need to right click it and you're going to save it to your computer and you're going to name it after it's saved on your computer you're going to go to file you're going to go to merge and then you're going to bring in your picture into your um design area i'm going to uh, make this a little bit bigger so you're able to see what I'm doing. From here, we have to trace this image. You're going to go to your trace panel, which is the fifth icon on your right. Then you're going to click where it says select trace area. Then you're going to make a box around your image and wait till everything turns yellow. After everything turns yellow, there's a section here that says threshold. You're going to bring it up to make sure that you are grabbing every single line in here. You could go up and you could go down to you are satisfied on how everything looks. After you are okay with it, you're going to click on trace. Then you're going to move your image to the side. The way I know a lot of people get confused, like I can't move stuff. If you notice the difference, when I have some, when I have my mouse over something, my uh, mouse changes to like a hand. That's when you know you have something and you're able to move it around. If you still have the arrow, then there's nothing over that you could change. Make sure when your mouse is over something, it turns into the hand. Now this is the image that I'm going to be cutting out. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go to my paint palette that is on my right. And I'm going to color it black so you're able to see it. It doesn't matter what color you change this to because you are the one that's going to be loading the color vinyl of your choice to your machine. I am going to be using the 5x7 canvas, so I need to make sure that this image fits into my 5x7 canvas. You're going to go on your left and you're going to grab the rectangle or the square um, shape. You're going to make any square on your, shape, on your computer, any size. And then because I am going to be using a 5x7, I'm going to make this square 1 inch smaller. So I'm going to make it 4x6. Okay, so whatever canvas you're using, just make it 1 inch smaller. So I'm going to do mine, this one 4x6. So on my width, I'm going to type the number 4. And on my height, I'm going to type the number um, wait, 6. 
and then uh, enter. And then my um, lock right here is unlocked because I know a lot of people get confused with that too. So when you have something selected and you check right here on the top, it's just going to say width and height. That's why I typed in that I clicked on enter on my keyboard. So this uh, rectangle right here is 4 by 6 and then I'm going to put my image here. I'm going to color the rectangle so y'all again so y'all are able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to send it to the back. And that's just a reference so I know not to uh, my image can be bigger than that. Make sure my image fits the hat it's overlapping a little bit so I'm going to bring it in and when you click on something you have like little white squares all around it and I moved the wrong thing gonna undo is your arrow on the top gonna make sure I have my image selected I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit And then I know it's going to fit perfectly. Now, if you want to type something, you have to do extra steps because what you need is you need something that it looks like a coloring page, like it's double lined, so they are able to color inside, which I'm going to explain what I mean. If you go on your A on your left, click on it, click somewhere on your screen, and I'm going to type the word howdy. I'm going to unselect it. I'm going to click on it again and on my A on my right I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select a font that I want. Now again you can download free fonts from the font.com. This one that I just picked is called Subway and I got it from the font. Now let me color this font again so you're able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to color it black. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger just so y'all can see what I'm doing. Now, if I go ahead and cut this out of vinyl, they're not going to be able to cut this because it's going to be all filled in with vinyl, so they don't have nowhere to color. So this is where you have to make an offset. So while your font is selected, you're going to go to your offset panel that looks like a double star on your right. You're going to click on it, and it's going to say offset. So click on the word offset, and I'm going to zoom in on this word. I'm actually going to delete the offset so y'all are able to see. So click on your word. Click on the word offset. And then right here it says distance. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I don't want my D and my Y to be touching. So I'm just going to bring it down more. And then I am going to a little bit down more all right I'm gonna go back to my paint palette and I'm going to color it uh, let's say red so you're able to see it so now if I move my words that's how my offset looks okay now let me go back and undo I'm going to click right here with my mouse I'm going to leave my mouse um, press down. I'm going to drag it to select my word and my offset. I'm going to go to my modify panel which is the icon on your right that looks like a square and a circle. I'm going to click where it says subtract all. Just wait a couple of seconds. Now click somewhere on your screen. The words that I type just click on it and press delete on your keyboard and now you are left with this now they're able to color these words in again click somewhere here on your screen and drag your mouse to select everything right click it and group it together i'm going to color it black again it doesn't matter the color you color it because you are the one loading your vinyl to your machine now I need to make this smaller because I want this to be able to get cut with my image up here.
and you have the little white squares around your stuff when you want to um, size it down or up. Make sure everything stays in your rectangle because that is the size that you want it to be. I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. All right. Let me zoom out. Once you're satisfied how everything looks, you're going to click on that rectangle and just click the delete on your keyboard. Now, because we are cutting this out of HTV vinyl, you need to make sure you click somewhere here, drag your mouse to select everything, and you're going to right click and flip horizontally because your image has to be mirrored because of the way you place your vinyl on your machine. Once it's like this, you're going to place it wherever you go. And I always recommend for you to save vinyl. Don't just leave this in the middle of your um, screen. Place it somewhere where you save vinyl. You can add more than one on your screen. I mean on your paper. You're going to go to the... Oh, before I go show you how to cut, I know a lot of people say, well, I only see my grids or I can't see my grids. The way you do that is in your page, set up the paper on your... the the paper icon on your top right right here it says transparency so if you bring it down you're able to see your grids because I know a lot of people like to see their grids when they're placing their vinyl I like to leave mine on zero because I like to see all this white okay now I'm gonna go to the center panel top right corner you're going to select the material that you're going to be using. You're going to be using vinyl. I just leave mine where it says glossy vinyl. That's me personally. I know a lot of people use different. But I'm going to leave mine in glossy vinyl. And then where it says no cut, cut, and cut edge, I'm going to make sure that my image is selected and I have it selected where it says cut. And it's right here. So vinyl and cut. You see? How howdy howdy looks that means howdy's down cut that means it's on cut edge. So I'm gonna click on cut while everything's selected, and that's how it looks. Now, if uh, you want to know, my blade is set on three, my force is set on ten, my speed is on eight, and a pass of one. And then you are ready to cut this out. And I'm going to um, be, be right back, but again, you can use any images, you just need to make sure that any image you are using is double lined. So if you're tracing an image from Google, it's already automatically double lined. And when I mean double lined, I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to color him white. So you see him and I'm going to zoom in. When you trace an image, it was already double lined when you trace it. So you already have like the outer line and then all you're going to have to do is take weed this out of vinyl and you're going to be left with the outline. That's the same thing I showed you here when we type this. And if you are actually making your own images or anything like that, just make sure that you have it double lined, okay? Because you need to, for them to be able to color it in. Now let me load this vinyl and I'll be right back. Okay, you need to make sure that your vinyl is shiny side down. You see the shiny side? It has to be side down on your mat and it has to be aligned correctly on your mat and you're just gonna place it there and then you're going to load this to your machine. You need to make sure you lined up your mat correctly on your cutting machine. So there's a line here, load it up. Make sure your rollers are locked. So this is how you lock it right here. And then make sure all your stuff is in the grooves and make sure everything's correctly. Also make sure your um, blade is correctly locked in because that's a number one mistake people do. You're going to load your mat and then you're just going to click on send on your computer so it can start cutting. After you unload your vinyl from your mat, you're going to I just cut out the piece that I need to weed out. Then weeding is where you take off the excess vinyl off from your carrier sheet. So we got to take everything off. And I'm going to speed this process up of me um, weeding this part out.
All right, after you're done weeding, you have to grab your canvas. And like I said, I'll be using the 5 by 7 for that one. And I'm just going to open it. You're going to need something to put under your canvas because, you know, the negative space here. And you need this to the side. I just have some fabric that I'm going to place here. Just so you could have something there when you're pushing down on your iron like that i'm going to turn this around okay i'm going to place my uh design where i want it sticky side down just place it wherever you want it like that you're gonna cover your design with parchment paper if you don't cover your design and your iron touches this you're going to mess up your canvas and I'm going to show you if you don't cover it up you're going to mess it up okay so make sure you cover your canvas and I'm going to cover it up with parchment paper I have my iron on all the way up high and then I'm just going to press down everywhere to make sure that everything gets adhered. Now again, you can use a home iron or you can use your heat press. Make sure that you press everything down. Make sure you press everywhere really, really good. Then you're going to go check if everything's getting adhered and you're gonna peel back softly. See how that's not adhered yet? That means you have to make sure you press down really, really good, okay? Make sure everything is pressed down really, really good. And then check it again. Okay, that O is not pressed. And that right there. So I gotta do it again, okay? That part of his hat is not pressed down really good yet. But I'm just gonna go with my parchment paper and I hear that right there. Just gonna press down really, really good. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the letters. Okay. Then I'm gonna go one more time around with all with all the um, clear film off. I'm gonna go one more time and make sure that I press down really, really good all around, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and over and do this one so I can show you two different ones, okay? All right, everyone, here is the final results. This is how they all turned out. I did two more so you could be able to see the different sizes that you can make. Again, feel free to go buy any canvases of your choice and you're gonna do the same steps. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and feel free to comment down below. Again, if you have any questions, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you could be notified when I upload my next video. Also, go ahead and join my crafting group on Facebook. It is Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. Feel free also to follow me on all my social media, Facebook and Instagram, Andrina's Creations. If you would like to order anything from me, you will just message me or email me at andrinascreations at yahoo.com or through Facebook and Instagram. I hope everyone's having a blessed day and I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.